So these rock formations are kind of a couple of ridges behind my campsite, but I'm gonna go explore that little arch that you can see right in the middle of the screen there. It's, uh, it's definitely smaller than I thought it would be. But it's always fun seeing these. And next to it we have this little, this little notch here with nice views out to the eastern reef of the San Rafael Swell. Gonna head back to camp now and uh, get on the road. I haven't eaten yet so I need to find something to have for breakfast. Then I'll go down into Hanksville to get some work done. I need to get online. After I do one other thing, I'll make my way into Capitol Reef National Park. So I just pulled into the BLM field office in Hanksville because I wanted to check out this giant water wheel thing. I don't remember how I heard about this. I don't know what it is, but it's old and pretty cool looking. About 20 feet tall. Okay, so I just read the little pamphlet in there. And it looks like in the early 1900s, an engineer from Maine by the name of Wolverton came to this area to go up into the, into the Henry Mountains, which are the mountains right above Hanksville here. And I think it said in 1921, he started working on a mill to, to crush gold ore, to get the gold, to extract the gold from the stone. And this is what he built. This is the, this is the mill. And it was airlifted from the mountains down to Hanksville in the 70s. It is an incredibly complicated and impressive machine. He never got rich, but he did find some gold. Can you imagine the work that went into this thing? This is the actual stone that would get dragged around in a circle here and crush the uh, the ore. What a piece of engineering way up in the mountains. Very impressive. Coming to BLM field offices like this is also good because you can check out maps of the area. And here's the one of this area. And it just shows um, the different land ownership. So all of this yellow is BLM land. Here's Capitol Reef National Park, and so I can see to the east of Capitol Reef is all this BLM land that I can camp on. Okay, so I'm west of Hanksville, and there's a very unique and interestingly named rock formation up here. Yeah, this scenery is just bizarre. Here it is. So this rock formation is called Long Dong Silver. I didn't name it, I think climbers named it. It has been rock climbed, but it is extremely bad rock. Look at this. 
It just crumbles. Crumbles as you touch it. I can't imagine climbing this. This rock is called Mancos Shale. Uh, there's a city in southwestern Colorado called Mancos. I don't know if the rock was named after the city, or the town, or if the town was named after the rock, but it is just terrible, terrible stuff. But really fascinating to look at. I think this might be, this is one of the more unique geological features, rock formations in the United States. This is a nail that climbers have used to climb this tower. Usually climbers use these nail kind of things specifically for rock climbing called pitons. But this is just a regular like nine inch nail. Can you imagine climbing this thing? You can even see some webbing climbers left up at the top. This really is one of the strangest places in Utah and in the western U.S. as a whole. Oh man, it feels so good to be out of the wind. It is so windy out there and all of this loose dirt and sand is just blowing in your face. And being in here is like being in a cocoon of windlessness and it's my little place of refuge. So it took about half an hour each way to hike over there. I'm gonna have some cheese and crackers now for lunch. It's about 12.45. Uh, anyway, I'll have some snacks and then head off into Capitol Reef National Park to do some hiking. I think I'm only about 25 or 30 miles from Capitol Reef. It's a very interesting national park. I've been there probably three or four times. I'd say it's the least popular of the five Utah National Parks and the most underrated. Yeah, gonna go do some stuff there that I that I haven't seen before and uh, on the way out actually on the way back to the main road there's this old truck this neat old truck that I'll I'll record some footage of but then after that it's straight into the national park I wonder how these how these trucks get left out here who leaves them out here why do they get left out here I don't I also don't know what kind of truck this is I don't know what kind of equipment this would be I guess I would. Any thoughts on what this truck is? What it was used for? And before I get into Capitol Reef, I forgot that I wanted to go look at Factory Butte. I've never been very close to Factory Butte, which is a Kind of a famous southern Utah landmark. Has a very distinct shape, distinctive shape, so I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, this is Factory Butte. Kind of passed by Factory Butte. You can see it in my side mirror there. There was an RV that was hanging around back there and I didn't want to stop where they had stopped. I didn't want to be right next to them and so I decided to go onto this other spot nearby that I wanted to visit and then I'll stop and take some real footage of Factory Butte on the way out. 
Look at this is unreal. This is such a great view. This place is called Skyline View. Basically you go to Factory Butte and hang a right. And the road was surprisingly good to get out here. Let me give you a tour. Just incredible views. This is the area where I was for the last few days. This is Temple Mountain out here. Here's the edge of the San Rafael Swell, the reef. This is where I camped last night at that little butte. Let me go over here so I can get a better view of this area. You can drive basically right up to the edge if you're brave enough. That is so cool! What a place! Here's looking down, straight down a few hundred feet. Well, that was one of the best places you can drive to in the United States, I think. That was incredible. And probably one of the best campsites in the United States, too. I mean, you could definitely camp there. It's super windy right now. It's a bit too exposed for my liking for camping. It's too early. I'm not ready to camp yet. But wow, that place was incredible. Now I am headed back toward Factory Butte and uh, get a closer look at it. So here is the famous Factory Butte. Let's take a closer look. It's way too windy outside to be able to film. The wind is rocking my car back and forth. Now apparently this thing can be climbed. It is supposed to be a very dangerous and scary climb. And I doubt more than a handful of people have done it. Be a cool thing to do someday, but definitely not on this trip. I don't know how many times I've been through this general area, but every time I come through I see another couple of things that are on my list, and then another couple of things, and then another couple of things. And it's just, it's fun to do it that way. It's fun to slowly get to know an area over the years. But for now I'm going to head into Capitol Reef National Park, which is another 15-20 miles to, my, to the west here. I'm just inside Capitol Reef National Park now, just inside the boundary. Not to the visitor center yet, but I saw this huge parking area on the side of the road and thought, let me, let me park and take a walk down to the river. So this is the Fremont River. I love rivers, I love just looking at rivers, and I love desert rivers even more. Just found this little bird's nest on the ground. I'm sorry it's so windy, I know it's annoying. Believe me, it's even more annoying for me when I have to edit the video. All right, so let me get you up to speed here. I'm at the Capitol Reef Visitor Center. I just went in. Um, I just bought this book, the National Audubon Society Field Guide to the Southwestern States. I've been eyeing this for a while and I thought, you know what? It's time to just get it. It was $22. It includes uh, pictures and information for identifying reptiles and amphibians and mammals and plants, you know, flowers, trees, cacti, birds, but basically everything that I'm curious about. So I'm really excited about this. When I get to my campsite today, I'll 
whip it out and start trying to identify things. One of my goals for this year was to be able to better identify the mostly the plants that I see. Also, the weather is terrible. Uh, it's super windy. It's been raining on and off. I think I'm done for the day, even though it's only 3 o'clock. I'm going to go find a place to camp and just hang out. Then early tomorrow morning, I'll hike. There are a couple of pretty popular hikes that I want to do. So I'll get to at least one of them super early in the morning while there aren't too many people out. And usually it's calm. It's more calm in the mornings as far as wind goes. So hopefully it won't be quite as windy. It's nice to be here in this area. Uh, I think I'm done for the national park or with the national park for today. I have a national parks pass so I can just go in and come out of the parks as, as I want. And, you know, I don't need to pay every time I, uh, I enter. So I'm going to head east, get out of here and find a campsite on some BLM land east of the National Park. So I found a campsite for the night and I'm really happy about this one. This is a great spot. Let me show you, uh, let me do a panorama. So this is Capitol Reef up here. The National Park. I'm literally five minutes from the entrance to the park. And then I have a little stream over here. Let's go check out the stream. It's a really pretty little spot. There's even a bunch of wood here that someone has left. The fire ring. Don't think I'm going to use it. I don't feel like making a campfire tonight. It's not even four o'clock yet, but I'm hungry. Here's the finished product. We've got bread, pesto, provolone cheese, pepper jack cheese, turkey slices, avocado, and bacon. This is a good one. And because it's so windy, I decided to cook in the back of my car here. And for the first time I pulled this top of bin out a little bit so I could uh, prepare food a bit easier and it worked really well. I'm very pleased. So I've just been tidying things up and reading and organizing things for the past hour, hour and a half. I took the kayak off the roof of my car. It wasn't sitting right up there and I needed to put the cockpit cover back on there so I took it off and changed a few things and put it back on. The wind isn't quite as bad as it was earlier. Still windy, but not unpleasantly. So that's it for today. Tomorrow will be a day of adventuring in Capitol Reef National Park. At least a couple hikes, assuming my hip feels okay. And then after that, I'm not entirely sure what my plan is. I'll do some more trip planning tonight and yeah. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was, and I appreciate you watching, and also let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.